Congratulations on such, such a wonderful film. I love that. It is a masterpiece. So glad to hear that. It's a beautiful film. So, um, ladies first. Okay. <laughs> Let me start with you, Nina. Uh, you put the legacy and the lives of your parents in Bradley's hands. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what part of Lenny's life did you kind of hesitate to share with the world? Oh. Uh, that I, I, there was no hesitation. <laughs> no, we trusted Bradley implicitly. Um, and he, for his part, consulted us early and often, so, which he didn't have to do mm -hmm. since he had the rights to the story. Um, but he did consult us every step of the way. Is this, is this right? Okay. Does this sound correct? Am I going in the right direction? And, and so we helped uh, shape the film with him. Um, and uh, yeah, we trusted him totally. But was that like, like this kind of thing that where you said, you know what, this is so so personal, so intimate, so close that I want to, I want to keep what it to is myself. It? No, because, <laughs> then, because then what are we doing? Okay, okay. Right? Excellent. What's the point of, of making a film if you're not going to go all the way? There? Excellent. Thank and you also, I think, um, excellent answer. There's there's also uh, nothing that we are you know, personally mm -hmm. that I you know wouldn't even. Uh, want to held back or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you for that. Um, Jamie, there's this um, emotional, touching scene between Maya and Bradley, your character, um, about about the rumors, about the rumors. So, what was your reaction when you first read that scene in the script and, and uh, the accuracy of it, or when you watch it for the first time on the, on the screen? Well, it was very... Uh disorienting to see somebody playing teenage me, of course. But also, um, that incident um, really happened, and I described it in my memoir, mm -hmm. Famous Father Girl, which Bradley read, and that's uh, where he got that scene from. So he created it in, in a way that felt very accurate to mm -hmm. me. It felt, it wasn't verbatim, Okay. Because I can't remember yeah. what the verbatim <laughs> conversation actually was, but but the way it was crafted by Bradley and and performed with Maya, it felt very authentic. Thank you, thank you for that. So, Alex, uh, what have you learned about your parents during the whole process of this uh, bringing their lives to the to the big screen that maybe you didn't know or or mm -hmm. now you see or pr probably perhaps you see it now with a, with a different perspective or a different lens that's a very interesting question um, i'm i i'm reminded about a lot of things uh, that i may have forgotten um, and that's always wonderful um, but i i don't think there's anything i actually learned. There was you. something that really came back to me, which is uh, the scene um, when uh, Bradley as Bernstein is conducting Mahler second in mm -hmm. Ely Cathedral, oh, and then God. he, and, and uh, the piece is over and he runs over to give Felicia a great big hug, and, and then when he runs back to take another bow, you can see that Felicia's dress is covered in drops of sweat, sweat. Yeah. Yeah. and it totally came back to me about those sweaty hugs. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great story. Authentic, very authentic. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. authentic. So, do you have the chance to to visit the set? No. Sadly, no. Um, Bradley absolutely had a closed set. Um, so uh, we never got to, even in our house, <laughs> when they came to Connecticut to, uh, to shoot ju there. Just as well. Yeah, maybe <laughs> just as well. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that, guys. And by the way, Alex, you rocked the long hair, so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. And again, congratulations on a uh, wonderful film. Thank, thank you. you so Have a great much. day. Thank you. Oh.